Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. I have a problem. My inventory, hello scape cow, the inventory is unimaginably full, completely full. Uh, my storage space is, it's disorganized, it's full, it's not doing well. We have to come up with a better storage solution. Uh, but first, I want to talk to you about what's been done. Uh, last time we raided the mansion and I brought all that stuff home. Okay, that's what you're seeing here, all these stacks of books, and we got this block of diamond there, we got this diamond hoe there, we got all these totems of undying there. These don't seem to be aging. Do I need to put those outside? Someone let me know. Um, I want those to, to tarnish over time. Um, also, I've been working on uh, getting knockback for the sword. I got a couple of knockback books from a village er that I'm trading with. Also thorns. Um, I I got a thorns one uh, villager trade, so that's how I have that thorns one book. This is an enchanted book uh, that I did in the table, and then here's a thorns two book, and I want to show you guys uh, how this is coming. I took the old diamond armor that I had worn in the beginning. Uh, and I checked it for thorns. This one has thorns too. This one has thorns too. This one did not. And this one did not. But I have thorns two books lined up here to turn these into thorns three, which I then want to combine with these in order to make all of that happen. But there's also um, a thorns two book here. So I've been busy. I've been busy with thorns. Uh, I thought I had a few thorns two books. That's protection, that's mending, that's infinity. These are all unbreaking. Where did I stick the thorns books? Um, I had a bunch of thorns two books from, you know, I may have stuck them on the armor. Let's see, is the thorns on this? Maybe I attached it to there. At any rate, uh, I also have a Thorns 3 villager now. While I was trying to get Soul Speed 3, I ended up with a Thorns 3 guy. And it turns out you can't actually get Soul Speed from a villager. So we have some armor crafting to do today. We also want to apply um, netherite to those. And I have several netherite scraps here that I want to turn into ingots. Um, you may also notice that I have a bunch of gold on me as well. Did I try to take those and it wouldn't let me because I just have too much stuff? We really got to get organized here. Um, let's see. This would be the most that I ever made in a single uh, go. I'm going to make 12 of them here. Boom. 12. That's kind of nice that it won't let you if you're going to drop them. I don't know if that's true of everything or if it's just true of those because they're valuable. But uh, it's getting to be nighttime. I'm going to grab a quick sleep and then we need to take some wood, build some chests, get our inventory cleared up a bit. And I'm thinking we're going to build a little bit of storage over here. So uh, good night and see you in a moment. Okay, good morning. Um, let's uh, take an even number of these. We'll put that there for now. And uh, we're going to turn these all into chests. I guess we'll start with a stack. Which will turn into eight chests. Okay, and then just temporarily here, we're going to dump what we got going on in here into there. <sighs> Yikes. We will have to organize. Um, you can see I've been doing a little bit of trading in the nether. Um, that's how we're going to get soul speed, I have concluded. Uh, but for now, we're going to worry about um, just increasing our storage. We're not going to organize much, I don't think, on camera, but we are going to uh, get some stuff put away. So I got my handy dandy uh, silk touch pickaxe, and I think it is time for us to go ahead and make ourselves a grand place. Um, to store some stuff off here uh, to the left. So bear with me for a bit while I uh, dig and mine, and maybe I'll speed this up and let you watch. And uh, I'll get back with you guys as soon as I'm ready to give you an update. Thanks. 
Alrighty, the digging is done for now. I just did the very first little bit of this. Uh, we gotta keep that close escape out, it does not escape. Okay, so we want uh, stairs coming down into this room, and boy, is that not centered. Uh, okay, so we're gonna dig that one out one more, but the idea is we're gonna stick chests like this all the way up to here, and uh, we're gonna stick what these chests are, some indicator in block form here. Uh, so we don't have to use frames and items because that does tend to uh, sort of ruin everything. So let me quick uh, get this taken care of. And uh, the idea is that this would be modular and we can um, expand it this way as we need to. Uh, so I think that that will work out nice, but we will see. Uh, let me just get the rest of this pillar taken care of here. It's going to get a little dark, and we'll put in our torches. And not there, but there, and there, and there. Okay, so uh, we're going to need more of those. And we have a lot of spruce wood over at the um, village. So I think that we can just use that uh, when we are ready. And I'm not sure what kind of stairs we're gonna put in here. I, I do kind of wanna put um, something like this here, even though that's gonna pinch the hallway. Uh, so maybe that's a bad idea. But I do think it makes it look a bit nicer. Uh, so we'll go like that, and then like that, and then like that. Get rid of that one, because they all have to be turned correctly, or Peter won't be able to sleep at night. Okay, a little bit of visual glitching going on on my end. I'm not sure if that was in the capture or just on my TV. Uh, okay, so we'll put stairs there, and then uh, this will be how we get in and out. Um, so I'll fiddle with it. I'll keep playing with it. But, uh, what we need to do for now, I think, is go down to the village, get some extra wood, some extra spruce, so we can make lots of chests, and then, uh, and then we can get going from there. So as long as Scape Cow is safe over there, we'll take this exit, and, uh, we'll, I'll just scamper on down to the village, and, uh, whoops, missed the stairs. And I'll meet up with you guys when I get there. Alrighty, we are arriving at the village. And uh, the sky is getting dark, so it seems like a good chance to catch a few Zs. And uh, I'll show you guys around a little bit, and we'll grab some wood and head back. Okay, so our Fletchers are still down here. Just the two of them. They're happy and safe. Um, I did let a villager with an obsolete trade out and he was over here and he was a zombie villager but he has not since despawned uh, even though I traded with him as a villager so that's interesting uh, I did not know that that could happen I'm not totally sure how that all works okay let's get in here and uh, wow see we've got a lot of guys here uh, this guy has got what has he got fortune 3 so we have a fortune 3 trade locked in Unbreaking 3, that's our Unbreaking 3 guy. Uh, 49 for Efficiency 5. And there's our Knockback 1. I trade with him twice to get a Knockback 2 book for the sword. There's our Thorns 3 guy. Boy, did he take a long time to acquire. Uh, 10 rupees for, what is this? Aqua Affinity. Because that can be hard to find when you're trying to do a helmet correctly. And then 10 for Silk Touch. Uh, Silk Touch is something that we need multiple of. And so... 
Uh, that's sort of the way things are going. They're having kids sometimes. Here's a kid. Uh, when he grows up, he'll be, uh, I don't know what, maybe I'll get a, a sharpness five out of him eventually. But you can see we've been busy at the old tree farm. And I don't mind taking just really a bunch of this because uh, we're going to need it. And it's not too hard to replenish this with uh, just three big trees and our uh, sharpness five axe. I'm sorry, efficiency five axe. The sharpness doesn't actually impact anything. Well, we have our other three guys down here, our prot four and um, infinity and mending guys are down in there. They're doing okay. And uh, yeah, that's sort of the state of thing of uh, things here. Otherwise, not much change. So now it's time to jog all the way back to our base, and I'll meet you guys there. Whew! I really got to put in some stairs. All this jumping's getting old. All right, we are back. Hopefully, Skate Cow is not looking to escape right now. Uh, seems to be out of sight, possibly over here somewhere. There she is. Hello, Skate Cow. Mm. Hello. Um, and what have we got here? Oh, we've got the ability to make chests. Uh, so let's get four stacks worth of planks, and then, uh, what'll that make? 32 chests. That ought to be plenty for now. Yeah, this is a little pinched. I'm gonna have to widen this hallway at some point. Um, but for now, we're gonna have our storage situation be upgraded tremendously. Um, I won't make you guys watch me move stuff into this room, because that would not be very exciting. Uh, but I may show you at the beginning of the next episode how things are looking here. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me um, think about what I want to do next. Oh, uh, we want we want to try making this armor better. Okay, so hopefully this won't be prohibitive cost-wise, but we will see. Let's put away our extra spruce. It's more than that can handle. We can take the, that out, because that doesn't belong in there. And all right, I guess we'll start with um, the helmet. We have a Prot 3 helmet that we could disenchant before we start applying stuff to it. This has Protection 4 and Respiration 3 and Unbreaking 3 and Mending, so there's four things we want. And Aqua Affinity is five, and Thorns 3 is six, and I think six is all the things that we need. Uh, so let's try the helmet. I think the helmet's going to be the most challenging thing here. Um, let's take the Protection 3 off just in case that helps us combine things. And then let's think about how we want to do this. We should probably combine um, Prot 4 and Respiration 3 with a 1, like a Mending. And then we'll do the Unbreaking 3 and the Aqua Affinity. Maybe the Thorns. Ooh, 9? Okay, 4. And then if we're going to add Aqua Affinity to 1, that brings that one up to 5. What does this one do? 3. Okay, so we'll add that to that, and then we'll see which way we can combine these. 17 versus 34. We'll do that, and then can we put all of this on the helmet? Uh, we can if we have more experience. So, pause. Pause, guys. Let me get some more uh, experience, and uh, we'll keep trying with this uh, this old helmet. All right, we're up to 51 levels. Uh, let's see if we can make this happen. I'm not sure... Would this be prohibitive? That's only 15 to add to that. So adding it to the blank helmet should be... Wow. Quite a bit more. If we add it to this, though, what do we end up with? Protection 4, Thorns 3. Let's see, what all do we want? We want Unbreaking, Prot 4, Unbreaking 3, and Mending on everything. We also want Aqua Affinity and Respiration 3 on a helmet, and Thorns 3 is the icing on the cake. So once we do this, that is our helmet. 
We don't even need this extra helmet. Um, and we can put this on, and it has mending on it. So it will regenerate anytime we gather experience. So we don't need this now either. Okay, uh, so far so good. We've got, you know, and we should probably go ahead and put um, netherite on the helmet while we're thinking of it. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and take this helmet off. And, uh, man, getting the best helmet in the game is quite incredible. Uh, I'm glad we have it, and I'll be excited to get it mended up so that I don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, I am going to go ahead and make another anvil and keep going with this uh, as far as I need to to get uh, the other armor and stuff uh, up to snuff. I won't show you the whole process, I don't think, but um, I'll, uh, I'll give you peeks in at the highlights and then uh, we'll move on once we're all done with our armor. Okay, new anvil. Check. Okay, here we have our Prot 4 on Breaking 3 Mending chest plate with Thorns 3. We were able to pull that off, and we're also going to add um, our netherite to it. I may as well grab three of these ingots while I'm in here. And that is the chest plate complete as well, and it is getting to be... Uh, is that going to use up three? No, it gave us our one back. So, uh, it's nighttime. We're going to upgrade our armor, and we're going to take a nap. Ooh, I am excited about how OP our character is getting, how strong we all are. Alrighty, we got all experienced up, and we fully mended our chest plate and our helmet, and now we're ready to put together the pants. Um, I think all we need to do is combine this Unbreaking 3 Protection 4 leggings uh, with the mending book, and then we'll add Thorns 3 to it, because it already has Thorns 2 by adding a Thorns 2 book. So let's combine the two books in whichever way costs less. And then, uh, yeah, we'll put that up here, and this should make this Thorns 3 and Mending, along with Prot 4 and Unbreaking 3. So there's our ultimate pants. Uh, we can put these pants away in these extra books, Prot 4 and Unbreaking 3, which we ended up not needing. And then we'll apply our netherite, and... Uh, will only be one pair of boots away from the perfect armor. Let's put on our pants. Nice. All right, here we have our boots with four of the things that we want, which are Prot 4, Unbreaking 3, and we also have a mending book uh, there. there. Okay. And um, there's also Feather Falling 4 and Depth Strider 3. So that's one, two, three, four five things that we want. And then Thorns 3, which is this 2 plus this 2, will be six things. And there are only seven things to put on the boot. I mean, there are a whopping seven things to put on the boot. You are one pesky cow. Uh, so, whoops, wrong thing. Whoops, also wrong thing. So let's combine these. Uh, like so. And then with this, now we have Thorns 3 and Mending 1 on here, uh, which we can add to this. It's not too expensive, we just don't have enough experience. By a level, we don't. So maybe we should just put two sticks in here, rather than a full piece of coal for eight potatoes. We'll just grab one potato, and that should be plenty. And it is. We went from level 27 to level 33. So now we can... Excuse me, cow. So now we can combine uh, these boots with this book. Yes, it does cost 28, but Protection 4, Feather Falling 4, Depth Strider 3, Thorns 3, Unbreaking 3, and Mending. All we need is Soul Speed 3 and this Netherite, but we're going to put the Netherite right on right now. And hopefully it won't be too expensive to add Soul Speed 3 once we get it. Now, these boots need a little bit of repair uh, so I guess we'll grab some more experience and then uh, we can move on to the next thing all right boots are fully repaired it's snowing outside and uh, 
We've got some other things to do in this episode, so I think we're gonna grab some of our gold and go into the nether and see if we can do some trading. Alrighty, we're ready to head into the nether for some trading. That's what we're gonna do. Let's get that done. I'll see you guys on the other side. Ooh, there's a guy we could trade with. Um, I did already trap a guy to potentially trade with. I want to check down here for gold first before we do it, but I want to show you where he's at uh, just so that you know. And look, we do have a lot of trade fodder here, and I thought we might have some of this gold ore, which we do. Uh, we have a fair bit of it, and I was smart, and I thought of bringing my um, fortune pick in with me. Uh, so we'll make good use of that. Now, partway up these stairs, we do have this hallway off to the side where we can get lava, and I've been grabbing this for fuel uh, for the furnaces downstairs, but also at the same Y level across the hall here, we have a hallway to a place that um, the piglins spawn. Uh, and what's great about them is that they will trade you wonderful things for gold, but it's kind of very randomized. I traded with this guy, and it looks like that's caused him to not despawn, which is good news for us. We're also wearing gold right here, right, which will help us to not get attacked by him. But we can give him uh, gold ingots, see, and then he'll give us something. We don't know what until we get it. Look, soul speed two boots. Now I can't combine iron boots with netherite boots that I know of, but if he gives us a soul speed two book, then we will be in business. He makes such funny noises. Okay, um, I am gonna, um, I'm just gonna trade with him for a while, and uh, I'm gonna see how that works out. So if I get anything exciting, I will let you know. And, oh look, I do have a chest. I could put some stuff he gives us that we don't care about in there if I want to. Okay, here's a new guy to trade with. My old one died. Uh, I was wearing thorns and he started attacking me because I was, uh... Yeah, check out that gold. And then check out that gold, would ya? Thank you. So I was opening and closing the chest near him, I think, too much. Also, we're having gas problems. So, nether challenges. That's how it works sometimes. We did get some gas tears out of the equation, though. We got three gas tears for killing a gas. I'm thinking it might be wise to build uh, some walls around this little place we have here. Well, I kind of struck out. I ran out of gold and I didn't get any soul speed books, but we can come back and try another time when we have more gold. It's nice to know that those things are here. We'll take the iron nuggets, we'll take the potions of resistance, the gas tears we earned by killing the ghast. Um, the crying obsidian is neat. I guess soul sand might be useful if I decide to make stuff. Uh, we could combine these to have soul speed three boots back at the base, uh, just for our kicks. Um, we're get well, the leather and the pork chops, actually the pork chops could probably stay here, those might be useful here. Uh, we'll take the blackstone and the resistance and the arrows. And the quartz. Um, we came in with this stuff and I say we just leave it here because we got plenty of things back home. Alright, I'm, uh, getting out of the nether and back. Back to the old home base, I'll see you guys there. Ooh, the moon is up. Let's go to sleep now that we're back in our old homestead. As soon as we say hi to Scape Cow, of course. Scape Cow? You didn't go down in the mines, did you, Scape Cow? You hiding back here? Among all your other cow brethren? Where's Scape Cow? Oh, there you are. Don't scare me like that, scape cow. Good night. I'm a little mad at you. Oh, 
Okay, we have a bunch of uh, weird miscellaneous stuff in our inventory, but we can just dump it in here um, because we do have all this space and I can get organized off camera. Um, we need to think about... Oh, we gotta put stairs there too. We need to think about um, upgrading some of our tools. Our sword has everything we want except for a couple of knockbacks, I think. Um, then it will be the perfect sword. And there they are. Uh, thorns, right, okay. Um, we're gonna want a golden, or a, a diamond shovel at some point. But I don't know when exactly that is going to happen. Okay, knockback one and knockback one is knockback two. Put that there, put the sword here. 18, that's okay. That sword is the ultimate sword. It's not perfect for a wither, because it doesn't have smite. But, it's basically everything I want it to be in a sword. Okay, um, what's next? We have a lot of nether brick block, and I think we could turn that into a bunch of nether brick slabs. Um, nearly two stacks, in fact. And it might be fun to bring that up to the top of our lookout tower and see if we can't expand the platform a little bit into some kind of design that we like. So let's go for a climb. That was a big fall. Whoopsie doodles. Okay, I'm wondering if we want to start with some kind of basic diamond shape. Uh, if we go like this, out that far, uh, there's no reason why we can't make that symmetrical and um, turn it into a nice little viewing platform. I think we take some, uh, take some fences and put them around the edge. And uh, that could be real pleasant for us. I do need an extra dark oak log for right here. It's kind of embarrassing that I don't have that. Don't tell anyone. Alrighty, the diamond is complete, as you can see, and I think we may want to build another one uh, on top, and eventually that will become a roof, but for now we're just going to make it uh, tall enough to be comfortable, which I think means two and a half. Yeah, that will feel cozy, uh, but also enough. Okay, now we've got our uh, ceiling on top of us. We're going to need... Um, some fence posts or something to make that look like it's being held up by anything. And then of course we'll have to put a roof on I think as well. That should make it look nice. And I'm wondering if we're ever going to stick windows in this to let some light in during the daytime. I think I dropped a slab. There it is. The slabs are precious. I don't want to lose them. I don't know how precious they are. Let's see how derpy this thing looks from over here. Uh, might be a little bit better than it was before. What the heck is that? Does that look like... Not right to anyone else? Is that a block and not a slab? Let's grab our fence posts. Actually, I suppose we could use the nether brick walls, since we never ended up liking them up here. I've got my fence posts, and yeah, something seems not quite right up there. We're going to have to do a little bit of third-party, third-camera view investigation. Yeah, that's a block when it should be a slab underneath me. So uh, let's fix that. And look, there's something on the ground there. Uh, we're going to have to go get that later. A couple of slabs, maybe? Um, okay, I was thinking about the brick wall, but I don't think the brick wall and the fence will play nice. Ooh. And neither will that. Hmm. 
Well, that's okay. Maybe we'll have some support in the middle with uh, with these things. Yeah, those aren't going to connect either. But you know what? Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's no big deal. I'm going to need a couple of more walls to finish this anyway. Maybe we move the whole thing up one more half slab. Ooh, watching the sunset from up here is kind of nice, though. Oh, I forgot to bring up a log. Wait! No, I didn't. I didn't think about it, but I didn't... I did it anyway. Well, I think with that sunset in the background and uh, the moonrise in the foreground over there, I guess the background the other direction. Uh, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. We will have another great episode next time. I hope you'll join me for that. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. And I'll see you guys next time in the basement.